What up? Welcome back to another video. Fantastic to see you here. Thanks for pressing on this video. You don't know how much respect you've just gained. Street cred. YouTube's watching your history and they saw you clicked on this and your street cred, your, your credit score just went up. That's how it works. Everybody knows there's been a big debate. Coles versus Woolworths, you know. People might compare what price their products are, you know, where their stores are located. But realistically, when comparing these two uh, grocery markets, superstores, super supermarkets, there's only one thing that came to my mind that would really give us a definitive answer of which was better. And that is uh, their home brand products. As many of you may know, besides all the name brands charging prices up the wazoo for these typical products, Coles and Woolworths both have their own branded products in a range of different fields. Uh, so I've collected seven different products and I'm going to be comparing them. Each product will either get a point to Coles or Woolworths and then by the end of it, you know, seven categories, seven points to give away. One of them's going to be coming out on top. So first up, uh, one of the most basic products that many people would choose to buy is uh, bread. Bread, you know, besides the uh, gluten intolerant, uh, everybody loves bread. You know, people... Bread is a staple. So looking at my uh, documentation, it shows that both uh, the Coles white bread and uh, the Woolies white bread was $1.30 each. Fantastic. So dead heat tie on the price. Uh, the packaging, strangely similar. Obviously, you know, we both know that bread comes in a plastic bag typically, but the color choices are awfully the same. You would think that Woolies might choose to spruce a little bit of green in there to stick on brand but they haven't. Whoa, you actually get 21 slices in the Coles and you only get 20 in the Woolies. One serving of Woolies bread has 0.3 grams less sugar and eight less calories for those um, calorie conscious. Ooh. Now, about the same thickness. They look about the same. Do they taste the same? can definitely taste that extra sugar. Oh no. Wow. I didn't want to have to do this, but the Coles bread is actually a bit more moist and in a good way moist. The Woolies bread is a bit dry, a bit lacking. I'm going to have to give the bread to Coles, unfortunately. If you couldn't already tell, I've got a pretty heavy bias towards Woolies, but I'm not going to let that get in the way of this uh, purely factually um, driven statistical uh, e event. Next up, got another staple product. Milk. Everybody loves milk, once again, except for the uh, lactose intolerant. Um, I don't even really drink milk, but I bought the cheapest variant of milk, the box milk. Now, the Woolworths full cream milk is actually a four star rating, while the Coles is 3.5 star rating. So that will uh, that will uh, play a role in this voting system, but gonna go ahead and open up the coals. I mean Woolies, and yep, just as I suspected, that is an auto opening lid. So for those that don't know, I'll show you over here. As I open the coals, there's a pull tab to get the foil off. Uh, the Woolies, that is not a thing. So that is convenience greater than you could have ever expected. Uh, so I'll put a bit in there. Looks full cream. Looks milky. Now, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to, this is a pain, like, you gotta, put, yeah, and then it goes everywhere, and then you gotta deal with this. So that is a serious markdown, but Coles has done it before, it's impressed me before, so we'll see if they can do it again. All right, here we go. Uh, Woolworths milk. Oh, I really don't like milk. Oh, that tastes like it's been watered down. Ugh. Uh, I know that calcium is important, but damn, it was potentially a bit of slander saying that the Coles tasted watered down. It didn't really taste that bad. They're very similar. They're both milk, but I'm going to have to give that one to uh, Woolworths because um, the lid. It was so much more convenient than Coles. Now, these little packets of uh, wafers... They've blown my mind for many, many years because somehow they managed to always be the most dirt cheap, cheapest thing in the sweet biscuit aisle. 
The Coles wafers came in at 55 cents for this whole packet, whereas Woolies was actually 57 cents. So expecting a lot from Woolies over here, those two cents should have gone a long way. And we'll see where they went because right off the bat, we got one star health rating on the Woolies uh, and a 0.5 star health rating on the Coles. So I don't recommend buying these anyway. I don't think it's probably good for you at all. Imagine a 0.5 star hotel. This is theoretically that. All right. Not the easiest packet oh, to get into, but when you are in, you are in. And a very, very convenient tray there. That must be where the other two cents went because I can feel just by looking at this, there is no plastic tray. All right, wow, this is interesting. Here we go. Now, these are theoretically supposed to be the same. Same grammage, same product description, relatively same price, uh, and look at that. We have some very different product here indeed. Different color, different thickness, different pattern, different everything, but... All right, very almost stale. Now, I get this is a dirt, this is a dirt cheap snack, so you have to make some sacrifices, but just based on the aura this thing is giving off, I can tell this is gonna be much better. Yes, by a landslide. By an absolute small village town devastating landslide. I think that the Coles actually has the upper hand on flavor, but you just can't go past the convenience of this tray and the texture and build quality of each wafer. Plus, you know, that extra 0.5 health stars, that could go a long way. That could be years onto your life. So I'm gonna have to once again, give that point to uh, Woolworths there. Self-raising flour. Now you must be thinking, how could I possibly compare these two products right here uh, with no intention on baking anything? And I would answer to that, well, anybody willing to ask that question is uh, really just bleeding pure ignorance. Now we have a 3.5 health star rating on the, on the Woolies flour, but there is no uh, rating on the Coles flour. So that is very interesting. As you could probably guess, extremely hard to tell the difference here. We are dealing with two self-raising flowers from two uh, home brand packages. Most likely from the same factory, not gonna lie. I can't imagine how you could uh, make any sort of difference in flour. Now, I deal with a lot of flour in my time, baking, making cookies, cakes, and there's nothing more annoying than a, a flour that isn't consistently ground. And I will give it to Coles. Their flour is rather smooth. Yep. Tastes are floury as well. Moving over to the Woolies. Ooh, actually. I'm just trying to refine the granules to get a bit of an estimation on how, you know, the quality of the flour. This might not make sense to a lot of you guys, but just trust the process. This may be my bias speaking, but I do believe that uh, the flour from Woolies is a little bit finer. And you know what they say in the business, the finer the flour, the finer the finished product. I'm gonna have to give this one to yet again Woolies. So Coles is gonna be playing a bit of catch up over the next three products if they wanna take the dub. Next up we have uh, Cola, home brand Cola. Now unfortunately, Coles uh, didn't have a home brand Cola. So I was faced with an issue. Do I buy the cheapest cola they make and assume it was their home brand? Or do I buy their home brand soda water and compare that? And as you can see, well, it was a tough decision to make, but it made the most sense. You know, we're comparing home brand products. Wouldn't be much fairness to bring in a, a brand product. Although as cheap a branded product, it wouldn't be fair to Woolies. So as far as the cola uh, comparison, I got a feeling it's going to be pretty one-sided. Now, quickly comparing the health star rating between the Coles 
home brand cola and the Woolies home brand cola. We have a whopping five stars over here and a dismal one star over here. But I don't think that's going to be the uh, deciding factor. Flavorless. If that's their idea of a cola, they're ki you're kidding yourself. It's an easy decision to make. By your eyes, by your ears, and by your tongue. This is lackluster. Nothing resembles cola there. Whereas the Woolies Cola, on the other hand, is full of sweetness and bitterness and, and carbonation. And that's why I'm going to have to go ahead and tell you that I, I actually bought the cheapest cola that Coles had as well. Now, it's called Q Cola, and it was a dollar as well. Only thing missing is Coles whacked on the label there, and this would have been a fair comparison, but I'm going to go ahead and assume this is about as close to a Coles brand cola that we could get. Now, we dropped back to not even having a health star rating on this product, so we assume it's as good as eating dirt. Now, these do taste very distinctly different and I will say you <laughs> cola really how are your shoulders mate from carrying the Coles franchise regarding cheap products because that is actually not bad the Woolies Cola takes more of a sweet avenue where the Q Cola takes more of a bitter avenue and maybe it's personal preference but I do kind of like that a bit more but that goes to Coles. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments by using this as a substitute for Coles home brand cola, but it was that or the soda water. And that was not a fair fight, so I had to do it. Now, I went to Woolworths first on this mission. Hence why I grabbed the Woolworths brand cola, assuming there would be Coles brand cola. And I grabbed Woolworths home brand plain chips. Assuming the same for Coles. Now when I was in Coles, the Coles Plain Chips home brand really shocked me because they have gone the premium route here. The Coles chips came in at $2.50 while our Woolies was $1.80. Okay, as far as health star ratings, oh, we do have a 2.5 over here and just a 1 here. So potentially that extra price for the Coles could be worth it in the long run. All right, here we go. Now, two very significantly different chips there. One's a crinkle cut and one is a uh, more of an organic looking uh, regular chip. Very heavy and moist. Uh, a lot of oil still in this bad boy from its frying. Oh. Look. You already know what, you already know what it is. I'm going to have to give it to Coles for that one. That is a premium product and sometimes you do just have to pay that little bit extra to get a chip that looks like that compared to that. Serviettes. They both came in at 95 cents each. Now, looking at them, you might think one is a larger quantity. No. They're both 101 ply serviettes. The Coles one is a compact, clean package. Woolies. They just didn't squish them down. That's all we had to do, squish them. Lazy. For every one of these in shipping, you could ship one and a half of these. So logistically, Coles comes out on top there. Coles has called them white serviettes. I don't know if you can tell, but it's see like it's pretty obvious to tell that these are white serviettes, given the packaging is clear. And I don't think white affects colorblind people. I could be wrong. So very unnecessary and a little bit sus there from Coles. Now imagine this, you've got sauce all over your hands and you're trying to get into a serviette packet. Which one will we get into first? Oh, easy win. Easy win there with uh, the packaging for Woolies. Got in like it was bread on butter. Coles on the other hand, given their compact form factor, they did have to wrap this bad boy pretty strategically. All right, we're in. Hmm.
Oh. I didn't think it was going to go this way. Yeah, but... The Woolies serviette is a lot softer on the face. Maybe that's because they had a bit more room to breathe in transit. But that settles it, guys. The serviettes go to Woolies. And that means that the point goes to Woolies. And that's four to three. So Woolworths wins. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. That's the definitive results of Colts versus Woolworths. There's no more talk of this ever anywhere. This is the only result needed to hear. Woolworths is the superior of the two supermarkets. If you have the option, shop independent and you'll make um, great decisions. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you smash like and subscribe because that uh, is helpful. And um, I'll see you next time. Don't know what I'll be doing, but you also it could be good, it could be bad. The only way to find out is to click on it. Adios.